story right now. New this morning, we are now learning three Equifax executives sold shares of the company worth nearly $2 million after a massive breach was discovered. The breach compromised personal information of almost 143 million Americans. Equifax says it found out about the breach at the end of the hack and took action right away. But SEC filings show the company's chief financial officer, president for U.S. Information Solutions and president of Workforce Solutions, sold some of their shares. Equifax says the sales are just a small percentage of what some executives own and say the workers did not know about the intrusion when they sold them. But I'm sure that is not the end of this very long story here. And meanwhile, this has been a story that's been developing all morning. If you have used this service, Equifax, you probably have a lot of questions, but mainly you want to know, how do I keep my information safe? What is out there right now? So that's where Corey Nockreimer comes in. Uh, he is a cybersecurity expert, uh, CTO of WatchGuard Technology. Good morning. Good morning, Liz. Thank you so much for being here. First and foremost, um, if you're watching right now at home and people are going, what on earth do I do after this breach? Uh, what would you say to them? Well, first of all, you know, it's not only if you signed up for Equifax, if you've uh, taken out a, a home loan, a car mortgage, even try to get a job. Just they, live life. Exactly. Yeah. They do credit checks, and so you may have had your information submitted to Equifax. So you need to find out if you're affected. That's step number one. Okay, and that's that website that you go, I think it's 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 uh, it's on our website. Yes, equifaxsecurity2017.com. And so you have to type in six digits of your social security number and your yeah. last name. Um, there was some concern about people doing that, as in, like, I have to give even more information to you guys. And yeah. Yeah. in order to find out if I'm affected by this. Uh, what would you say to that? So the short answer is, I did it, but it is actually a valid concern. I mean, they ask for your last name, and they need a second indicator to tie you to the database. Because even my name, Knockreiner, kind of a unique name. It is. But there's thousands of them in America, so they need two pieces. But the last six digits of your social security number includes the four digits. And while it's not your whole social security number, I can't open an account with it. If I call up any place to reset your password, you've probably heard them ask you the question, what is the last four digits of your social right. security number? So it is a scary thing to do. I do think if you want to find out quickly, it, it's the risk is minimal. All right, you got to do that. So yeah. um, what happens when you type in all your information, you find out you're part of the breach, what is the very first thing that you need to do? So honestly, at this point, things like your social security number and your driver's license, and possibly a credit card if you actually paid for services with them, are gone. Uh -huh. And there's nothing you can do to get them back. And the two concerning things, even if there's no credit card, are the driver's license and the social security number. That's are, a lot of info. Yes, it's, it's enough. It's the two big pieces be, uh, besides the basic stuff, which everyone can get anyways, to open accounts under your name, open credit, uh, buy SIM cards. So you pretty much need to monitor if anyone opens accounts. And it's not just monitoring your credit cards and accounts. You need a service that will check if anyone's opening up new credit. And there's other options besides Equifax yes. if that makes you a little nervous. And, and that's kind of the irony. There's only three of them in the U.S., you know, TransUnion, Equifax, Experian. And, of course, Equifax will offer you a free year of this plus extra identity theft uh, monitoring. I actually say, as ironic as it is, if you are in the Equifax's database, your data is gone anyways. Right. You still have to enter even more, you know, your right. information again to get the service, but it's gone. You might as well take the free service while you and have take it. Take control and monitor that. Corey, exactly. Thank you so much. It's always great to have you on. Yeah. Hopefully, maybe I'll come when there's good <laughs> when news. When there's good news. Not we often in cybersecurity, exactly. though. Exactly. But thank, thank you, you so much. Bill, over to you.